Carl? Are you okay? Why aren't you talking? This is basically a talk show. You have to talk. Oh no. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co host, Assy. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. So apparently, Carl isn't talking today, so we have to figure out something to do. How about Mad Lib? Mad Libs are like stories we get to make up as we go. So I'll read the words we need, and you can fill in the blanks with whatever words you want. Right, you can't talk. So maybe we can act out the words? All right. Okay, so I need a name of a person. Is that T? Okay, I'm, I'm guessing the queen. The Queen of England? All right. Okay, um, give me an adjective, a word to describe something. Um, smelly, stinky, farty. All right, that's pretty weird. Um, I think we need another adjective and a noun. A person, place, or thing. Flappy pumpkin? All right. All right, so now we need another adjective and a noun. Um, grumpy, grumpy tree? Okay, last one. Give me a verb, an action. Skip? All right, let's hear the story you made. Once upon a time, the queen and I went to the park. On our way to the farty park, we saw a flappy pumpkin on a bike. We also saw a big grumpy balloon tied to the tree, so we skipped home. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkins can't ride bikes. Well, look at you, you can talk. <laughs> I know, I just couldn't hold in any longer. Well, why weren't you talking in the first place? Well, Cassie, I messed up this morning. You did? How? Well, my mamaw told me to clean up my room this morning, and well, I didn't want to. Yeah, I don't feel like cleaning my room sometimes either. So what happened? Well, I said a bad word. Really? What did you say? Well, when she told me to clean my room, I, I said, I know, I know. Did you get in trouble? A little. Wow, you didn't choose the right word, did you? I sure didn't. And that's why I wasn't talking. I figured if I don't talk, I won't make the same mistake and say the wrong word again. Yeah, I get that. But I think there's better ways to go about it. Really? How? Well, think back to the time when King Solomon had the right words for those two women that were fighting. Oh yeah, those two women that lived in the same house and both had brand new babies. Yep. But unfortunately, one of the babies didn't live. But instead of telling the other woman, the lady switched the babies and took her friend's kid who was still alive. Man, that's really sad, but also kind of messed up. Yeah, so when the mother woke up, she was so sad because she saw her baby wasn't living anymore. But she looked closely and realized it wasn't her baby, it was her friend's. But the other mother wouldn't admit what she had done, so they went to the King Solomon. Yeah. Then King Solomon said to split the baby in two and give each half to one of the women, which is pretty weird and kind of terrible. It is weird, but Solomon really didn't want to hurt the baby. It was a test. You see, the real mother of the living child begged King Solomon not to harm the baby, and she said it would be okay if the child went with the other woman, if it meant her child could live. So that's how he knew he was telling the truth. Holy moly. Solomon is super wise. He sure was. And the only reason he was so wise is because he asked God for wisdom, and that gave him the right words to say. 
So you're telling me that we can ask God for the right words? Yes. I'm also telling you that's our big idea. No way! Today's big idea is we can ask God for the right words. So say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. We can, can ask God for the right words! All right! <laughs> we did it! Sounds yeah. good! <laughs> Thanks for helping me understand, Cassie. That was a great story. Don't you think so? Cassie? Here she not, she's not talking. She's not. Oh, because the words thing. I, I was doing that early. Okay, uh, she's not going to say anything, so... Uh, see ya. Uh, bye!